Hi there. Uh, let's talk about LSAT analytics and how to use it. So it's a very powerful tool for tracking your prep test performance. But first things first, uh, you got to learn how to input data. So it's pretty straightforward. You just go ahead and select the prep test you want. So I think the very first one you should be doing is uh, for 36. So you just finished a core curriculum. You took your first prep test. Now you're ready to uh, score after you blind review ready to score it. So you saw what I did there. I just click 36 and uh, below populates answer sheet. If you mess up, it's fine. Just click again, right? It'll pop up back up again. And then you can go ahead and reselect 36. Uh, so a couple of things about this, the four sections are here. It's pretty self-explanatory. This thing here is just defaults to the current date. So if you're inputting and say two days later, maybe you want to adjust this. Uh, if you're scoring just a single section, make sure you check this. You might want to score a single section if you're say drilling RC, right? You might just go back and like drill RC um, from like prep test 18, 19, 20. Uh, maybe you this is a fifth section of a four section of a five section test that, that, that you're just scoring. So maybe you want to use this. Uh, keyboard mode by default is on, which uh, this is a great way for you to input your answers. So instead of clicking, of course, you can just click like A, B, C, but it takes a while. So uh, A, B, C, D, and E correspond to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So you can just, like, I'm, I, you can't see it, but I'm just clicking 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Uh, and just you can just go ahead and just, it's a really fast way to do it, uh, to input all the answers with the keyboard input. So I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, give me a second here, and input all these answers. Okay, so all the answers are inputted, and the next thing you need to do, this is incredibly important, is you need to uh, blind review. You need to record your blind review answer. So how you do that is you can just click on the uh, question here, right, and you'll see it just slides out. Like, let's say you chose A, and you circle question one, you need to blind review. On your blind review, you still chose A, so just go ahead and put A, right? But on question two, you blind review, and you chose, oh, uh, I don't know, you chose A again, but question three, uh, you didn't blind review, but question four, you blind review, you decided it was C instead. So that's how you do it. Now, another way to do it is just hit the tilde. That's the, uh, on my keyboard, it's right, it's to the left of uh, the number one, right? So tilde also does it. Uh, it makes the blind review row appear or disappear. So once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click save and score. And here you can see your summary statistics real quick. Uh, you can look deeper and more, in more detail, but that's in this tab trends here. Well, I'll talk about that in a separate uh, video. Uh, looking down below, this is just a list of all the 100 or 101 questions from Prep Test 36. You can see a bunch of things here. Uh, for example, your answer, your blind review answer, what type of question it is. This is for LR, uh, the correct answer. Uh, you can see also uh, the statistics. This is very useful because um, and the statistics just come from seven stagers, tens of thousands of seven stagers inputting their data. So you can see, for example, C is a very attractive trap answer choice. Um, these are difficulty ratings based on these statistics and some uh, algorithm we assign. Uh, you'll notice that for RC and games, there's a passage or game uh, difficulty along with a question uh, level difficulty. Of course, that doesn't exist for LR. Um, so these buttons over here, uh, the explanation just takes you to a video explanation, and the quick view is very helpful in case you uh, don't want to or can't refer back to your uh, actual paper test. You can just click quick view, and it should populate whichever question uh, you're supposed to be looking at. Uh, so that's it. That's a quick and dirty overview. Of course, there's so much more you can do with this. Uh, feel free to ask questions, and feel free to explore.